our channel. In this video, it gives you insight into employee self-service and maintenance with the help of Odoo Putty. We can maintain the employee contacts, data, salary structures and departments through the employee model of Odoo Putty. So a company can analyze the employee progress and skills, presence and the contract by the recording features of Odoo. Now let's see some employee self-service and maintenance functionalities in Odoo Putty. The user can manage all the information about the employees from here in this Odoo 15 employees module. This dashboard shows a list of all the employees in your companies and you can check out the employees based on a specific department in a company. Here this window depicts the data of each employee such as name, email, phone number and the tax. Now we can formulate the new employee data by clicking on this create icon and see how to mark the employee's attendance when creating new data. After choosing this create icon, a new window appears here. We can add the employee's name here. Then here we can provide the job title. And then we can add the tax here. So it is possible to add multiple tax here. Then we can add the work mobile, work phone, work email, company name. Then we can choose the department and also we can add the manager and the coach as well. When it comes to the below part of this window, we can see some of the tasks like resume, work information, private information and HR settings. So we have already done a video regarding the employee creation in Odo 15. So you can refer the link mentioned above. When it comes to the HR settings tab, we can see a field related user. So the related user can be allocated for the resource to manage its access. So we can add Alan Savior as a related user and click on this create and edit icon. So a window will appear. Here we can add the email ID. So here we can see the access rights. Now we can click on the save icon. And to mark the employee's attendance, we can uh, comes to the attendance section. Here we can enter the PIN code that is used to check in or check out the employee's attendance. Then we can apply the employee identification ID in the badge ID field. So we can click on this generate option and the badge ID will be generated here. By selecting this print batch icon, you can download the barcode of an employee to scan it quickly. After scanning this batch, it is easy to mark the attendance. So the printed barcode of an employee is seen here. Now we can save this. And we can go to the settings. From here, we can choose the users option from the user and company's name. Here we can see the related user that we have created now. So from here, we can change uh, the access right as user from administrator from here. So we can choose uh, the user options from here. Okay, so now let's log in as Ellen Savior. And we can go to the attendance module. Okay, so now let's go to the attendance module. And here we can see a option kiosk mode. While clicking on this kiosk mode, we will direct into a following window. And here we can see two options, tap to scan and identify manually. Tap to scan can be used to scan the badges. And by choosing this identify manually, we can enter the PIN code as I am during the employee creation. Here we can see the employee Alan Savio. Now we are able to enter the PIN to check in. So in order to get this feature, we need to 
Con go to the configuration of attendance and activate the employee pin option. So here we can enter the pin code to check in. So here we can see the check in time of Alan Savior. In the same way, we can also check out. So in this way, we can mark the attendance of employees with the support of Odoo Cooking. Now let's discuss about the submission of the employee expenses. We can manage the expenses generated by employees for the purpose of organization with the help of Odoo Cooking. So the user can develop a new expense to report from the My Expense tab. So we need to go to the expense module of Odoo Cooking. And here we can choose the My Expense to Report option. While clicking on this create icon in this My Expense to Report window helps to process an expense report. So let's generate a new expense report lunch with a client. So here we can add this. Later, we can choose a product from this drop down menu. So, here I am choosing food and beverages, and here we can provide the total cost. So, the currency can be chosen from this drop down menu, then here we can add the taxes. Then, we can choose the employee reference here. Then, we can uh, pick up the employee to reimpose in the paid by field. So the product defined here is the food and beverage it is an expense product. So you can access the product details by clicking on this external link of this field. Or else you can uh, simply go to the expense product menu in the configuration tab and choose a product food and beverage. So the user can set the invoicing policy and the re-invoice expenses of the product from the expense products window. So here we have the option to attach the receipt and also we can see the option to create the report. So we can submit this to the manager. Now let's discuss on how to generate the time of request of an employee. So one of the essential part of a business is the proper leave management of employees. So we can easily maintain the leaves using the Odoo Cooking Time of Module. So the user can quickly evaluate the leave taken by the employees within the Odoo ERP support. Here this time of dashboard window depicts the sick time and the compensatory days in a specific day year. So by clicking on this specific date, you can view the reason of an employee for the leave. Now we can generate the leaves by clicking on this new time of icon in this dashboard window. After that, a new time of window appears before the user. Here we can select the time of type from the uh, drop down menu. Then here we can add the dates on leave so the duration will be added here automatically then here we can add a description for the new time of request Then here you can attach the files by clicking on this attach file icon inside the supporting document is also possible here. After entering the details you can click on the save icon. And here we can uh, see the created leave application in this dashboard window. Now let's see how to generate a timesheet for the employees. A practical solution for time tracking operation of an employee in a firm managers through the Odoo Cooking employees module. So we can uh, educately record the employee's time for each task in a company through the timesheet. 
To add a new timesheet data, we can click on this My Timesheet menu in the Timesheet tab. And here uh, we can add the uh, timesheet of an employee. So we can create a new timesheet by choosing this Add a line option available here in this window. So here we can add the project name. Let it be office design. Then here we can add the task. So it can be chosen from this drop down menu. And also it is possible to add the sales order item. Then here we can add the date and also we can enter the hours spent on it. Then it is also possible to describe the activity here in this field. Now we can save this. And to uh, record the work time automatically, we can click on the start icon available here in this My Timesheet window. After selecting this start icon, we can view the timesheet is running. So here we can uh, see the option to describe your activity. Then we can select the project. And it is also possible to select a task from here. After selecting this top icon, uh, we can see the timesheet record of a specific project is added here. So now let's uh, log in back as Michelle Admin. And let's post to the expense module. So here we can see the expense uh, report of Align Savior. So by clicking on this view report option, you can see the option to approve or refuse it. So Michelle can approve the uh, expense report from here. And when we comes to the time of module, It is possible to approve the time off of Alan Savior from here. So to view the timesheet uh, details of Alan Savior, we can go to the timesheet module and choose the all timesheet menu here. So you can analyze the timesheet of Alan Savior from here. So the auto ERP is necessary to maintain the self-service and maintenance of employees in a firm. So the user can efficiently utilize the employee expenses, timesheet and time of process in an organization with the help of auto booking. That's all about the video. Thank you for watching.